Theseus Commander, you are the weakest link. Welcome back to the channel guys. Out of all the Fantastic Beast Secrets of Dumbledore characters, old and new, we could argue that Theseus Commander is the least interesting out of all of them. But I think this video might change your mind, as I have some interesting theories and ideas about him. But of course, before we start, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. The second Secrets of Dumbledore trailer is going to drop any day now. It has been approved and it's likely going to come in the next week. And of course, I'll break that all down. So if you want to get that, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, all that stuff. But yeah, let's get to the video. Theseus Scamander, Newt Scamander's older brother, and in many ways they are polar opposites. Newt is quiet, a bit of a nerd. He loves and respects magical creatures. He's not the most outgoing person and doesn't want to conform. Whereas Theseus is a glorified war hero, a ministry man, highly respected head of the Auror office. But even though we can say they're opposites, what I'm very fond of is the fact that brothers care deeply for each other and they are both true Hufflepuffs. And one of my favourite scenes from Crimes of Grindelwald was when Theseus hugs Newt at the Ministry of Magic and gives him a heads up about the Ministry watching him. And even though they spent the majority of the film on different sides, Theseus working for the Ministry and Newt's commander on Dumbledore's side, by the end of the film, Newt chose his side alongside his brother and is now fully committed to the defeat of Gellert Grindelwald. But this came at a cost, the cost of Leah Lestrange, who was Theseus' fiance and Newt's best friend from school who I think was one of the most interesting characters in a very messy film. And I think killing off her might have been a bad idea. Zoe Kravitz is a big star right now. She is the new Catwoman in the new Batman film. And I think the Wizarding World might regret throwing her away. Unless, of course, there's more to it, which we'll get to in a minute. Remember, Leah sacrificed herself to try to slow down Grindelwald and allow Newt, Theseus, and everyone else to escape the fires of Paris. Leah raised her wand against Grindelwald even when he gave her the opportunity to join him. She knew that she had no chance, but she just wanted to save everyone, to save the people she loved. And this is when it gets very interesting, because before she dies at Grindelwald's hand, Leah looks at the Scamander brothers and says, I love you. And nobody knows who she was actually talking to, whether it's her fiance or Newt Scamander her childhood best friend. And perhaps there could have been something more. And like I said, Leah was one of the most interesting characters leading up to her introduction because she was teased in the first film. Remember, Newt still keeps a photo of Leah inside his case. And Queenie stumbled upon it. And Queenie, using her powers of legitimacy, read Newt's mind. And she said that Leah Lestrange was a taker rather than a giver. And that's not someone who Newt needs. And then you've got the build-up to the love triangle between the Scamander boys and Leah. And even though certain love triangles have become rather cliche, I didn't get that feeling for this one. I think there was so much potential with it. And then add on the rumours of Credence Barebone being Corvus Lestrange, Leah's half-brother. But then Leah was killed off after just one movie. And to what end? To bring the Scamander brothers back together? to give Newt and Theseus a personal reason to bring Grindelwald to justice? Or even the very popular theory that Leah has given her loved ones, in this case, both brothers or one of them, sacrificial protection. The same protection Lily Potter gave her son Harry against Voldemort, and Harry gave to his friends during the Battle of Hogwarts. Honestly, I am unsure about this theory, but I can't deny it does make sense in a way. As for the sacrificial protection to work, the victim, in this case Leela Strange, must be given the choice to live, but they choose to die to save someone else. Grindelwald gave Leela the option to join him, but she chose to fight back and to try and save her friends. And if we go back to Harry Potter, Voldemort gave Lily the choice to step aside, at the request of Severus Snape. But Lily stood in between the Dark Lord and her baby son, and thus was killed. So yeah, this theory does make sense, but I just don't know. I don't want it to feel very prequel-esque, you know, a prequel kind of trope, where the prequel loves to reuse plot elements from the main series. 
For instance, in The Hobbit, which is full of them, the scene that comes to mind the most for me is when Tariel saves Keeley, and it's a total ripoff of Arwen and Frodo. And even though we expect lots of callbacks to the main series and prequelized tropes, I don't want it to start feeling like a whole hint hint nudge nudge to the camera. And I'm not sure if it'll have the same payoff as Lily. I'm not saying it won't work, I just don't want it to feel like a cheap ripoff. And perhaps this whole sacrificial protection will be an important plotline later down the road. But like I said, we don't know who she's speaking to. It could be one of them, it could be both of them. But at the same time, I feel the sacrificial protection worked for Harry because Voldemort, his entire life at this point was devoted to killing Harry. Whereas Grindelwald just sees Newt Scamander as a thorn in his side. He's not bent on his destruction. He has his own goals, whereas Voldemort was completely obsessed. But yeah, I'm rambling now, so yeah, let's end that. I want to talk now about the brothers' reaction to Leah's death. Both of them were visibly upset, both of them were visibly angry. But Theseus was fueled by more rage than Newt. He lost control. He tried to get to Leah before she was killed. And in the secrets of Dumbledore, Theseus is now part of Newt and Dumbledore's team to bring Grindelwald to justice and stop him taking over the International Confederation of Wizards. And it's quite clear from the trailer that Newt Scamander is Dumbledore's chosen leader. Newt is the one most loyal to Dumbledore, and Dumbledore trusts him. Probably just like with Hagrid, Dumbledore trusts Newt Scamander with his life. And Newt Scamander has the experience against Grindelwald, and one occasion he defeated the Dark Wizard, and this caused his arrest by Makusa. But we could argue that Theseus is the better leader, because he's the experienced Auror. The Dark Wizard Catcher. On paper it all makes sense. And Theseus will probably agree with you. I think he might even question Newt and Dumbledore's decisions. And he feels that he should be the leader, not Newt. He doesn't give the team much of a chance. He runs down the team's credentials. Teacher, Madge's zoologist, his assistant, no Madge, someone from a very old family, blah blah blah. And it kind of feels like Theseus thinks the team is not good enough. He's the head or the war hero, so he's fine, but everyone else shouldn't be there. The team is going to fail, which I think is wrong as each member of this team brings their own skills, experience and merits that are going to be vital to its success. They might not be war heroes or dark wizard catchers, but they bring a lot to the table, all of them. And I think Theseus needs to learn to play his part in this team and learn to trust Dumbledore. But saying that, that's not always easy. As seen in the trailer, it kind of seems like Theseus does not trust Dumbledore. And Dumbledore begs Theseus to trust him, even when all his instincts go against that. And I can kind of see where Theseus is coming from, because just like with Harry, Dumbledore keeps them in the dark. Dumbledore has clearly not shared everything with his team. He's withholding vital information. But just like with Harry, there must be a reason. But I think this bothers Theseus, and he's got a big problem with that. He thinks he should be the leader he thinks he needs to know all of Dumbledore's secrets. But remember, Dumbledore knows Grindelwald better than anyone. But Theseus is a good guy, he just needs to open up and trust others. And I'm quite excited for his team up with Lally Hicks, and I think she could teach him a thing or two. She might be a school teacher, but there's a reason she's part of Dumbledore's International Order of the Phoenix. And another scene from the trailer I'm very excited for is the Scamander Brothers in the Manticore Lair and Theseus has to act a bit more like his brother to survive, and do the silly crab movement. Because this is Newt's terrain, he's the expert when it comes to magical creatures. Theseus has to learn to trust others, get out of his comfort zone, and work as a team to bring Grindelwald to justice. But I've got a feeling Theseus is there for another reason, and that's to get revenge. I think if he's given the chance, he will try to kill Grindelwald, to take revenge for what happened to Leah. Instead of arresting him, which is his job as an Auror, and part of Dumbledore's team, he will try to kill Grindelwald, which might in the end bite him in the ass. And this is why I called Theseus the weakest link. He isn't the weakest link in terms of abilities. He's head Auror, he's a great wizard, a true Hufflepuff, even though Tina handed him his ass. And like I said, this could add a lot to Theseus' character development, whereas right now there's not much going on. No one's really making many theory videos about him, it's all about Grindelwald, Dumbledore, where's Tina, obviously Credence as well, 
Queenie, Jacob, and everyone else but Theseus, people really just see him as Newt's brother. And now that Leah's gone, his arc kind of feels almost non-existent. But for now, make sure you post your thoughts on Theseus Commander and the Secrets of Dumbledore and beyond. Like I said, that trailer is coming any day now, has been approved, and I'm keeping my eyes peeled because I think it's coming this week. And of course, I will do a full breakdown, so make sure you subscribe to get it. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you soon.